Hallo kijkers van Shine Surprise, dat is mijn vloeke nieuwe aflevering van Professor Layton. Layton's Mystery Dungeon, dit gaat nooit goed. Ik, dit gaat nooit goed. Layton's Mystery Dungeon, hallo. Uh, we waren vorige keer in uh, de front of the town hall uh, aangekomen. Uh, want hier gaan wij als het goed is de mysterie van de eventueel vermoorde mensen die waarschijnlijk niet vermoord zijn uh, te weten komen. En we moeten met deze vrouw praten. Um, excuse me, would you point us the direction of Mayor Lo Loonida's office, please? Um, the mayor? Yes, she's um, probably in her chamber. I should think so anyway, probably. That's it. Really make us believe you know what you're talking about. Hmm, Mrs. Loonida? Uh, um, secretary. Er, uh, has he? Tate. Okay. Uh, pleased to meet you. Did you need to see the mayor about something? She's extremely busy today. I'm not sure that uh, she'll uh, have time to fit in any unscheduled appointments. I didn't realize the mayor had so much to do. Oh well, um, Mrs. Lowenita is a very dedicated individual. Uh, as I'm sure you all know, she's taken it upon herself uh, to totally revolutionize the way the city is governed. At present... At present, she's um, pushing forward her plans for environmental projects as well as welfare reforms. Golly, she certainly does uh, sound like she keeps herself busy. Yeah, and of course, now it's uh, the festival as well. Um, is the mayor personally involved with running the festival then? Most definitely. Major Loanida goes to extreme lengths to ensure the festival's success. Every year she plans a great deal of the events herself and she's always uh, present on the site to oversee the setting up and other arrangements. Uh, and this year's festival is on a larger scale than last year's so it's um, been all hands on deck around here. Well I'm very sorry to uh, be uh, disturbing you at such an obviously busy time. If you could just tell us where the mayor's office is. Of course, it's just inside uh, and up the stairs. Good day to you now. The mayor sounds so busy. I wonder if she'll agree uh, to meet us with us. Well, it um, has her who asked. It, it was her who asked the inspector to investigate. So it would. Uh, I would think she'll make time. Jezus, ik kom even niet naar mijn woorden. Ging dat zo goed? Maar nu kom ik even niet naar mijn woorden. But let's go and see. Major Loanita. Ah, that's her over there. Good, let's go and talk to her then. Kijk, even wat hintmuntjes. Oké, okay, mevrouw Loanida met een puzzel. Oké. Okay. Major Loanida, sorry to bother you when you're so busy. Inspector Hastings, uh, CID. Ah, Inspector, I'm pleased to finally meet you in person. And your colleagues are? Ah, oh, yes, these three, well, these two and the dog are from Leighton Detective Agency. Ah, the Leighton Detective Agency? That's right, I've enlisted their help for this case. Miss Layton has proven herself extremely capable crime solver. Um, only the other day she helped solve the very difficult case for us. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mayor Lobonida. Catriel Layton at your service. Feel free to call me Cat if you prefer. Or Catriel, I really don't mind. Uh, and I'm Miss, uh, Miss Layton's loyal assistant, Ernest Greaves. Hello, Ernest. And your dog? Is she also part of the Leighton team? Absolutely, although she's a he. Cheryl performs police dog duties for us. He's uh, indispensable to, uh, work, to the work we do. 
Well, that's a good to hear. And because the success or failure of Riverside Festival really hinges on the resolution of this case. In fact, I hope you won't take offense, but I would uh, just like to see your skills in action by having you solve this little puzzle. Nah, for out for you. Mm, three's a crowd. Okay. Three candidates, A, B and C, are standing for mayor in the election with a thousand voters. In pre-election, in a pre-election poll, 200 voters were undecided. 400 voters supported A, 300 voters supported B, and 100 voters supported C. Assuming no voters changed their uh, alliance, allegiance, how many candidates out of the three still have a chance of winning the election? That's wrong. And, uh Even nadenken. Als er 200 undecided zijn. Als die bij C gaan, dan kan C nooit winnen. Als die bij B gaan, dan kan die over A heen. En als die bij A gaan, dan heeft A gewoon gewonnen. Maar ik denk dat er wel een addertje onder het gras zit. Je zou zeggen twee. Ik heb het gevoel dat het niet klopt. Ik heb het gevoel dat het niet klopt. Maar... Nee, zie je. Oh, er zit een addertje onder het gras. Dan moet het één zijn, want het zal niet drie zijn. Ook niet? Alle drie nog, maar hoe dan? Not everyone who answered the pre-election poll is obligated to vote. Uh, as we don't know how many people will end up voting. Uh, okay, lame. Well, that's very impressive. I must say, your puzzle solving skills are abundantly clear. I feel confident that I can entrust the Riverside Festival case to you now. Oh yes, Mrs. Lobonida, as you uh, you can count on, on us. There are a number of troubling points about the case, most notably the stark resemblance of the Legend of the Thames. I'm not aware of the Legend of the Thames, I'm afraid. I seem to recall hearing someone uh, of something like that before, but I forget the details. Allow me to explain. The tale goes like this. Long ago, a young man and woman, uh, each from a, a distinguished London household, fell in love with each other. However, the two families were enemies, so the couple, uh, couple's love was forbidden. A sort of Romeo and Julia. They were forced to arrange clandestine meetings every night, each coming as close to the other as they could, on opposite banks of the river. The woman's father learned of their activities and arranged uh, one stormy night for her lover um, to push into the river. Wacht. The woman's uh, father learned of their activities and arranged one stormy night for her lover to push into the river. Whoa. What a stinker. The current was so strong for the man uh, that he was swept away to his death. Ooh. Witnessing her lover's tragic end, the woman was heartbroken and threw herself into the river as well, ending her own life. 
Um, it said that couple's bodies were found days later, locked in an embrace. Okay. From then on, the ghosts of the couple were believed to draw young loves to the river on clear, starlit nights as they lamented their tragic fate. So to appease the uneasy souls of the departed lovers, a festival was established. That is the origin of the current Riverside Festival, I presume. That's right, it's a terribly sad story. Um, but in the end, the couple were united in love. Which is what led to the belief that gazing at your loved one across the Thames will bless your relationship with good luck. Ah yes, that's the idea behind the Riverside show of devotion. Which is happening tonight, of course. But what an extraordinary similarity between the legend and the case we're currently investigating. Yes, it's uh, either an incredible coincidence or someone um, contrived to mimic uh, the legend on purpose. Hmm, interesting. It's a terrible shame that such a dreadful crime is sull sullied with the festival. Uh, so many Londoners have been looking forward to it. We must get to the bottom of uh, it at once, so the people's minds can be put at rest. I was told you'd ask uh, for me to let this investigation, using a very small team of officers. I don't understand why uh, you wouldn't want the uh, whole force working on it. It's important to get uh, it resolved quickly. Yes, the problem is a great many members of the public uh, are present at the scene because of the festival. If we send uh, in swatches of police officers, we'll utterly destroy the atmosphere. After all, we're not even sure it's a murder, an accident or a suicide that we're dealing with. Uh, I sh I should like to avoid alarming the public by keeping the investigation as low-key as possible. Hmm, I see, still. Inspector Hastings, everyone tells me what a talented police officer you are. They do? Yes, I hear you're dedicated and passionate about your work. Uh, one of the most admired detectives at Scotland Yard, I believe. Which is why uh, I know I can rely on you to carry out the investigation swiftly and discreetly. Well, I um, I don't know what to say. After such a high pri praise, I can hardly turn you down, can I? Thank you, Inspector. I'm grateful to you, uh, to Miss Layton and your assistant. I'm afraid I'm rather busy. After the show of devotion tonight, the mayor always makes a speech. Of course, yes. Uh, we'll let you get it on it. Thank you, uh, the festival is very close to my heart, so I uh, do hope you get the results soon. You must leave it to me, Mr. Slovenida. One of the most admired detectives for Scotland Yard? He's certainly dedicated and passionate about this job, but something uh, of an overstatement, uh, isn't it? Just a little bit. Shh, you'll hear you, Miss Layton. Terug naar de fiets. Oeh. Oh, it's you. Hmm? You're that so-called detective who thinks you solve cases with gut feelings and instinct, aren't you? Do I know you? I'm Emiliana, Emiliana Perfetti, forensic analyst and profiling expert. Unlike some people, I base my deductions on hard evidence. Facts and figures. Well, that all sounds very impressive. Yeah, impressively stuck up. Anyway, I'm investigating this case. To be perfectly honest, your involvement is a headache I could do without. You should just leave it to the professionals. Well, as long as the case is solved in the end, does it matter if it's facts or fortuity that get you there? There's no doubt in my mind that I'll solve this mystery. Oh? Uh -huh. So, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. If you call rolling dice and drawing tarot cards work. Catherine Layton. Just because you're Professor Layton's daughter. Va bene. We'll see how far your methods get you. Whoa, creepy for you. Who was that woman, Inspector Hastings? 
She's a profiler, she's pretty well respected down at the yard. Emilia Perfetti is her name. Uh, we all call her Perfect Perfetti. A profiler? You mean someone who analyzes criminals and their motives? Something like that. Profiling is all about if, uh, evaluating uh, physical evidence and reconstructing crime scenes and the like. Perfetti, Perfetti's got a, a real knack for figuring out details about criminals by gathering a ton of information from crime scenes and analyzing everything she finds. Uh, she helped crack a number of cases uh, that have had anyone else at the yard stumped. It sounds like she's very talented, a very talented lady. Yeah, and uh, we don't pull our claws out. She's going to steal the thunder and solve this case before we do. You're right, Cheryl. Um, we uh, and while we are building our rep reputation, we could really do uh, with solving high-profile cases like this ourselves. Well, I'm gonna head back to the yard and see uh, how the investigation is progressing. What about you? I think we'll start by heading to the river uh, where the incident took place. All right. Well, thanks, Kat. Uh, is this this isn't just about pleasing the mayor, of course. It's about allowing Londoners to enjoy the festival. Are you, uh, you loud and clear, Inspector? So we're running along. Oh. We arrived at the Thames. So this is where the festivities take place, is it? There are more going on than I expected actually. Oh look, ice cream! Later! Yeah, alright Cheryl, I was only joking. Uh, the investigation comes first, I know, I know. Oh, freshly baked muffins, mm, just the smell of that. Joking, where are you? Really? You wouldn't know anything had happened, would you? Everyone uh, seems to be having a jolly good time. But if our reporter friend Douglas Dirt is to be believed, the public are well aware of the incidents. Perhaps we should talk to a few members of the public while we're here and see if we can learn anything new. Playing. It's the Riverside Festival. I can't believe it. It's the best. I know. <laughs> Isn't it just the best? I suppose it is the most famous festival in London, mind you. Um, I'd heard it was really boring though. But look at all these people here. Coming here was just the best idea, Benji. I really wanted to take part of the show of Devotion tonight. But apparently you have to apply in fans. Oh, not really, but I wanted everyone to see how in love we are. Arr, have you heard the rumors about what happened this morning? They say some fiend has uh, shoved it uh, into the river. And then, alas, chucked herself in the on the other bank. Uh, this is just like the legend of the Thames. So it is. Uh, I used to sing sea shanties about it when uh, I was a lad. Now I'm here. I've just found out uh, about some about something called the Riverside Show of Devotion going on this evening. It's sad about the missing couple and everything, but I still want to enjoy the show. It feels rather like uh, the tragic incidents have actually attracted more people down here. <laughs> yes, it has always something of a low-key affair before the Riverside Festival. Uh, I think perhaps not very many people were ever really aware of it. So it seems uh, that since people got wind of the incidents, they uh, dedicated, of the sorry, uh, they've decided to come down here and see what the festival is all about. That's poor taste, that is. 
Well, it's the way of the world, Cheryl. It's only when things make the headlines for whatever reason the people realize what they are missing. Uh, much like how are all how all these people are in the presence of a great detective detective at this very moment, but they have no idea. I'm sure your name will be in the paper soon, Miss Layden. Don't worry. Yes, hopefully. Anyway, uh, we still haven't found uh, out anything more about the incidents, have we? No, there are so many people here for the festival, but no one seems to have actually seen what happened. Well, uh, let's not forget that incidents took uh, place on both banks of the river. We should uh, go and investigate on the other side as well. Come along, you two. Coming, miss. So this is where uh, the missing woman uh, threw herself into the river then. It's dead quiet on this uh, bank compared to the other side where the festival is happening. Yes, but there's still plenty of passers-by. Somebody uh, may have seen something. But how will we ever find them? Well, we certainly won't find without anything. Um, find out anything uh, unless we start asking people some questions. En dat doen we de volgende aflevering. Bedankt voor het kijken van deze aflevering. Vond je het een leuke aflevering? Doe een duimpje omhoog. Zie ik graag de volgende keer weer. Adios, amigos.